breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Service chiefs get firm order from Buari over terrorism and others. Service chiefs get firm order from Buari over terrorism and others. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. President Muhammad Buhari has called on the service chiefs to adopt functional measures to end the incessant killings and kidnappings in the country. The directive from the president followed the killing of Adam Muazu's brother and the abduction of his sister by terrorists. According to the president, his administration would do all it takes to end the activities of those who he described as enemies of humanity. Following the killing of a brother, an abduction of a sister to the former national chairman of the People's Democratic Party PDP, Adamu Mohazu. The security chiefs have again received a directive from the president to double their effort in ending insurgency, kidnapping, and banditry. President Muhammad Buhari urged the service chiefs to ensure they come up with a decisive solution to end the growing insecurity across the country. The president's order was handed to the service while he commiserated with the former chairman of the opposition party about the killing of his brother and abduction of his sister. In a statement released on Sunday, July 24, Garibao Shewu, the senior special assistant to President Buhari on media and publicity said, the security situation in the country is a constant concern for his principal. He added that the president has assured those affected by terrorism that he would do everything to make sure that the enemies of humanity are crushed. Again expressing shock over the incident, which recently affected the Moazus, the president said he knows how hard it is to cope with such double tragedy. Let me use this opportunity to reassure you that other Nigerians currently facing threat from the atrocities of the bandit that I will leave no stone unturned to assure these enemies of humanity are finally crushed and decisively defeated. One of Nigerian's former military administrators, General Idris Garbao, had earlier pleaded with the Niger state governor to assist in the rescue of members of his family. Garibald's son, his wife, Miriam Bobo, and their four children, Ibrahim, Fatima, Himran, and Zainab, were among the victims of the Kaduna-bound train attack by terrorists on Monday, March 28. The retired military general confirmed that he has been having sleepless night since the abduction of his son and members of his immediate family. A security expert in Nigeria had said that the growing attacks on key places and soft targets by terrorists are not surprising. Senator Irebu said 
that the implication of the attack at the Koje prison facility is a red flag and they point out that the federal capital territory may be a city under siege. According to the expert, there is the need for punitive measures to be meted out to security personnel and agencies that jeopardize the effort to end terrorist activities in Nigeria. President Muhammadu Buhari has called on the service chief to adopt functional measures to end the incessant killings and kidnappings in the country. The directive from the president followed the killing of Adamumu Azu's brother and the abduction of his sister by terrorists. According to the president, his administration would do all it takes to end the activities of those who he described as enemies of humanity. Following the killing of a brother and abduction of a sister, to the former national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Adamo Moazo, the security chiefs have again received a directive from the president to double their efforts in ending insurgency, kidnapping, and banditry. President Muhammadu Buhari urged the service chiefs to ensure they come up with a decisive solution to end the growing insecurity across the country. The president's order was handed to the service chiefs, to the service well commiserated with the former chairman of the opposition party about the killing of his brother and abduction of his sister. In a statement released on Sunday, July 24, Garba Oshewu, the senior special assistant to President Buarilon Media and Publicity, said the security situation in the country is a constant concern for its principal. So, my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news.